ideally I would win the lottery and I would full time do the kinds of things that we do here, which is basically healing through digital storytelling. And what I mean by that is we get clients to dig deep into their experiences, quite often their painful experiences, mine them for insight in the process, hopefully through developing insight heal and then commit that to a piece of media that expresses that allows them to capture that like a two or three minute photograph in time that shows who they've become. I've learned that everybody has their own story. Everybody has something to say. And I've learned so much to hear other people tell their story and I empathize with them and I'm very humble to be a part of this whole thing. And I'm a better person after, uh, after doing these films. Thank you. About 10 years ago, so this would be going back to 2006, Susie Omer, who is director of the Petersburg Mental Health Facility in Petersburg, Alaska, and I joined forces. She being the, uh, the psychologist and social worker in charge of the facility, me being the digital storyteller and digital storytelling teacher. And we merged those two skill sets to bring a new kind of therapy to her clients. Um, bottom line is we all live within our stories and the only way to get out of your story, if it's not a story you want to be in or that somebody like Susie would come along and say that's not a healthy story, is to, to tell it. And because in the process of telling it, you understand it more thoroughly, you bring it to the surface, you can sort of look at it, and that's the point at which when you see it clearly, you can say, you know, here are the things I want to change about it. And the thing about media is when you make it, you have to make decisions. It's not like talking where you sort of talk and it hits the air and go somewhere, who knows where, you hope it's helpful, and counselors will take notes and they'll come back in the next week and they'll refer to their notes. When you make media and you've got a minute or two to say something, you really have to think about it. You have to go through the writing process. The writing process is inherently reflective and insightful and it forces you to make connections. So you have to go through that. So I think just by writing, regardless of whether you got media or not, just by writing, you're, you're, you're going to be ahead in terms of healing. Then to take media, to be able to think not just in terms of words, but in terms of images or moving images or music, just brings a whole nother level to it. Then to take several media and put them together and make kinds of production decisions that a movie maker would make because a movie maker wants to make a statement. So now we've got a client who wants to make a statement. Great, what's that statement? And how do we make it? With this picture versus this picture, they might be similar, but I want to use this one. That's exactly how a producer or a director thinks. I'm going to use, I need this shot. Great, that's good. And why do you need this particular kind of music? And so a lot of the healing that I think that uh, comes out of these workshops happens between uh, clients and counselors in the conversations they have as they develop the scripts and they make the decisions sort of cooperatively about those, those kinds of uh, media choices and so on. It might on the surface look like a media choice. Below the surface, it's a very personal, intimate choice that reflects a growing understanding of their situation. I think it's real important that each of us uh, continue to work on ourselves and to write down. Uh, because of this, I want to write more. And um, if 
if it doesn't, you know, if I don't show anybody or if I do, I just, you know, it's a good healthy thing to do. Is what I observe happening is they get deep into their their lives and their story and quite often their pain and that's hard to do but at the same time because they're making media they have to do all sorts of practical things take pictures get things written get things put together understand how the software works and those two people parts of them sort of keep each other in check and it's what th this guy helps them get over the goal line this guy makes sure that there's a reason to get over the goal line. And I think the media has gotten to the point now where it's so easy and the ability to create the kind of media that we used to assume we were only going to consume because you needed thousands of dollars and engineers and so on. Those days are over. You can get a $300 iPad and plug it into your Wi-Fi system at home and be a TV station at this point. So the barriers to production, I think, are basically gone. My guess is if we could show what we're doing to other people, we would discover there are a number of Susie Omers out there. And they would go, oh, I had no idea. And that's the problem. They have no idea. I see very little of this. I see it informally. And there's a lot of great um, digital storytelling organizations. And they do healing through digital storytelling. What I don't see so much are instances of mental health clinics per se saying, here is a valid avenue for uh, therapy. Uh, for my clients. I guess the next steps for this project, I can go two different ways at least. Um, one is internally. I can see that the shifts that we're making and the things we're learning with, to do with the equipment means that it will increase the likelihood or increase the frequency with which we use this with clients. Um, we already have plans for one of our early recovery groups. Let's have them, you know, I'll work on a story. We have enough iPads, let's do it with everybody. So I think that's one way I can see therapeutically, we're going to be using this more, we're going to be more comfortable with the language and the process of it and helping clients um, here, you know, identify what their story is, some of the pivotal moments in their life and how they've interpreted over the years. We'll be able to work with them in a deeper way. From the other perspective, of being part of the project, I'm hoping that we can take this to a, a bigger place so that we can take it outside of the realm of just Petersburg. I love Petersburg, lived here all my life, this is where I'm gonna be, but I'd love to see other people doing this. I think this is something that's that translates to almost any population. And like I've talked about before, there's gotta be some magic in therapy or it doesn't really work for me. And this always, this project has always brought back so strongly, here's the magic. The whole thing was like, taught me that I should be focusing on that I'm beautiful and I deserve beautiful things instead of yuck, you know?